Greetings people, tis I, 480 volts, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Alright, just a couple of things real quick. <clears throat> I don't exactly remember what my levels looked like in the previous video. They might look ever so slightly different now, because uh, that whole previous video that we did, <clears throat> our trek through the Meehan High Road, never got saved. And that was, uh, that was a boo-boo on my part. So I had to uh, replay through the Meehan High Road to, uh, you know, talk to all the people. I did all the publicity and uh, uh, matchmaking exactly as I showed it in the video, so we're all caught up. But I'm pretty sure, <clears throat> you know, I may not, I obviously didn't encounter exactly the same amount of enemies in the exact same battle formations as I did in the previous video. So my levels may be slightly different, I'm not sure. And if I feel like my abilities are slightly different too. So I'll just quickly kind of go what everybody's working on. <clears throat> I've got um, Yuna working on burst shot at the moment. She learned enchanted ammo, and and of course dark proof. Yeah, that's 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 it for her. Um, for um, Riku, <clears throat> she learned whatever was initiative. So I put her on item hunter. That's what she's working on now. Eventually, I'll get her on borrowed time and pain as a warrior. She learned after she learned armor break. I went or in magic. I put her on magic break as before, and then I put her on mental break. I, I, which I don't think I did in the video. So, and now I've got her working on demi sword. So there you go. That's about all that that I needed to point out. All right, we're gonna do uh, actually a pretty fun area. Um, <clears throat> Not so much that the area itself is fun, but based on the people we're going to meet. I really like this area. We're going to see some familiar faces. We're going to run into some old friends in this video. We're going to go to the Mushroom Rock Road. Yeah, see, like, Besaid Island is still two stars as opposed to one star at the end of the last video. That makes me think I, I didn't level up as much as I did in that video. Oh, well. But, yeah, we're going to do the Mushroom Rock Road. I, um, yeah, I love this place. Um, well, not so much, but, uh, I love the people we're gonna run into. Uh, Mushroom Rock Fiends, heading for Youth League Headquarters? They're busy planning some kind of operation, and the fiends are multiplying like crazy. Oh, yeah? Let's check it out. Alright, this is Mushroom Rock Road. Obviously, uh, if you take the Meehan High Road, you'll just walk up here. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, those creeps. Maybe there's a sphere here. Why else would they be here, right? It's our turn to do the following. Oh, I thought LeBlanc was the loser for following us. And I guess we're going to be the loser for following uh, Riku and Pain. Um, Pain said maybe there's a sphere here. Yeah, I saw a sphere. It was waddling with... Uh, it had two legs and two arms, and it was waddling away. Its name was Ormy. Ha <laughs> ha! I called Ormy a sphere. Good to see you again, Lady Yuna. Uh, who the heck are you? You haven't forgotten me, have you? Yes, I have. <laughs> Sorry, but I have. Oh, you're Yibel of the Youth League. Yeah, um, if you watched Eternal Calm, you know that this is Yibel of the Youth League. If you didn't watch it, you'd have no idea who this kid is. Let's just go ahead and make the kid feel bad. Sorry, but I've forgotten who you are. I'm very sorry. <sighs> I'm Yibel. Of the youth league? <laughs> the, that sigh. When we first met, I was still an initiate. But now, I'm a captain. They'll make anybody a captain, won't we, they? The youth league? Hmm. <clears throat> Clasco? Take it from here. Hey, Clasco! We, the youth league, to better our understanding of Spira's past, vow to remain vigilant in our search. <laughs> <laughs> we remember Clasco from the previous game. Oh! Two guys are getting away. Yeah, we don't have time for this. Did LeBlanc's men pass through here? Yes, they said they're here to take care of our fiend problem. And you believe them? You see, the Youth League is in preparation for an important operation, leaving our patrols shorthanded. Operation Me As a result, the road to headquarters has been overrun with fiends. Be warned, unless you can defeat the fiends on the road, you will not be able to pass. So, are you ready to run the gauntlet? Well, yeah, let's go ahead and say sure, we're game. Understood. Expect to encounter fiends until you reach the vicinity of the lift. Fight your way through them and proceed to headquarters. That's it. Good luck. Clasco? Uh, Clasco, show them the way. Uh, uh, of course. This way, please. 
Yeah, let's hunt some fiends. Yeah, let's do it. All right, well, we're not actually going to hunt some fiends just yet. But yeah, Clasco from Final Fantasy X. The first of many old friends that we're going to run into in this video. Yeah, I just, I love how, like, he's like, when, when Yaibol told him to basically finish the slogan or the motto or whatever, he just sounded so unenthused. He sounded like, he sounded like somebody who was, who had a job, you know? He's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's talk to Yaibol. Reach the lift near headquarters and your mission will be complete. Be careful, Lady Yuna. All we have to do is reach a lift. That's easy. The ravine is infested with powerful fiends. Go blindly down there and you may not come up again. Be careful, La Lady Yuna. <clears throat> okay. By the way, we have no publicizing or matchmaking to do in this area. If I'm reading it correctly, there, this area is not listed in my walkthrough. So I'm guessing nobody here is interested in open air or argent or the, um, the dude. I want to talk to this person. Uh, these are machines, that is to say, Machina, that we albed refurbished. Some we excavated from the desert, others we purchased, used from Bevel. Because Bevel was into that kind of stuff. The machine uh, faction has been dispatching patrols like ours from Jose Temple to guard the road. But don't think we've aligned ourselves uh, one way or the other. We work with both New Yevon and the New Ye uh, the Lu Youth League. I can't talk. Gipple's policy is to remain as neutral as possible. Oh, yeah? Who the heck is the machine faction, and who the heck is Gipple? Oh, we'll learn about that later. After the temples fell, people across Spira began banding together under the guidance of the former Crusaders. Oh, yeah? Those smaller groups joined forces, creating the Youth League we know today. Oh, so that's what happened to the Crusaders. They basically became the Youth League. After the temples fell, people across Spira began banding together on... Oh, 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 he already said that. Never mind. Uh, at the core of the League is Maven Nuge, a warrior who fears not even death. Yeah, if again, if you watched Eternal Calm, you would recognize his name. Most of the Crusaders he once served with uh, joined the Youth League out of admiration for Nuge the Undying. Oh, yeah? He's not an unsent, is he? I I've had about enough of unsents as, as I can take. Uh, the League is busy making preparations to take on the new Yevon party. What do you mean, take on? I didn't mean to talk to you. Uh, we've been staring them down for a long time. Now we'll finally get to give them more than just dirty looks. All right, let's not get things rough, okay? Anyway, I'm not going to proceed with our mission just yet. I'm just going to go over here, grab some stuff. I'm sure we can run into enemies. I already talked to that guy. I don't need to talk to him again. Well, let me just make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to talk to him again. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just go this way. I'll just walk all the way up to uh, where Jose's exit is, and then I'll backtrack all the way back where we were, and we'll actually continue with the mission. Uh, going for the excavation interview at Jose Temple. I can give you a lift if, if you want. Uh, we'll walk, thanks. Okay, if you change your mind, all you have to do is ask. Uh, Jose interview, what you talking about? Well, we'll learn more about that later. Still a lot to do, guys. And all three girls are here, even though the other two left us. Okay, we got Agma and Death Daubers, so I'm just going to wail on these things. Okay, looked uh, pretty simple. I wasn't paying attention to the stars of this area, but I, I don't think this area is terribly difficult. <coughs> Certainly not as hard as the youth, uh, the calm lands. Oh, this music... This music we're hearing is okay. It's not the best, but it's all right. Gets the job done. Oh, new enemies here. We got the uh, solids. Here, let me just uh, take care of that guy right there. Ow, what the heck happened? I got interrupted. That wasn't cool. He attacked me and then, okay, you know what? You guys look like you're uh, pretty strong in terms of physical defense. Oh, but you still went down fairly easy with Trigger Happy. All right, that'll be my... No, oh, I should be stealing. I need to be stealing more often. Never mind, you guys are easy. I'm sure a good armor break would take them out, but I didn't think... I don't think I need to waste the MP. Let's just continue on. Ooh! Well, Chocobo and uh, Gold Elemental. I should probably use... Yeah, Chocobo ran away. I should probably use some kind of magic on this thing. Like, uh, oh, I don't know. Water, probably. 
Oh, well, we learned item hunt. Okay, we learned item hunter. I think that was two girls saying yeah at the same time. I think that was Riku and Yuna. That happens occasionally. It was either that or a, it was an amazing fry scream. Oh, no, I don't need that. I definitely used less potions uh, on my second trip through the uh, Mihin High Road, so there's that. I have more potions now. All right, um, what should I have Riku learn? Well, I could have her learn slow proof. I could have her, okay, what's soul swipe? Soul swipe. Okay, what's pilfer, uh, steal HP. Um, always steal items from one enemy. Click stop on one enemy. Yeah, we'll just start with borrowed time. Why not? I don't really care about the thief's abilities. Of course, who knows what we'll unlock as a thief. Nothing here. Alright, continuing onward. If there's a save point, then what I'm gonna do... Okay, never mind. I'm tired of getting into the one-step encounters here. Headed for Youth League Headquarters? How about a lift on one of these puppies? No, thanks. Ooh, uh, which way is which? Crap, I can't remember which way is Jose and which way is not. I think this way is not Jose. Well, this might lead to the moon flow. Yeah, this is me and High Road music. Um. Hmm. What do you say? Yes, yeah, see, um, I'm not prepared for this area. I'm, I believe this is the moon flow. So I'm just going to backtrack. I've come all the way that I care to. I'm pretty sure this way will lead me to uh, Jose Temple. You know what? Let's actually use a hover. Let's actually pay for a hover. Why not? Oh, I thought I would actually get to control it. Well, that's boring. Uh... Yeah, let's just walk back this way. And if I find that save point... I don't know if I can get into battles here or not. Doesn't seem like I am. Well, anyway, I'm just gonna use the save point real quick. All right, now let's actually take on the mission. I just wanted to see what was up that way. There was really nothing. All right, let's talk to Clasco. Hey, bud. Oh, you're just gonna shake your head at me? So, are you ready to run the gauntlet? Yes. Understood. Expect to encounter fiends until you reach the vicinity of the lift. Yeah, you told me all this. Fight your way through them and proceed to headquarters. That's it. Good luck. Clasco? Uh, Clasco. Show them the way. Clasco? Clasco. Uh, of course. This way, please. Alright, now we will follow Mr. Clasco, who doesn't seem very happy. <sighs> you seem down. Well, a lot has happened since you brought us the calm. I ended up following Captain Lucille. When she joined the Youth League, so did I. But I'm still stuck playing tour guide. Ugh. You know, all I want is to ride on a chocobo faster than the wind. Yeah, and you can't even do that because all we got is stinking hovers. You know, all I want is. All right. All right. Well, I don't care about Clasco or his whiny problems. Nah, we like Clasco. But yeah, we should remember the name Captain Lucille or Captain Lucille. All right, mission time! Even though this is not a hot spot, we do have a mission. Foggy Fiend Frenzy. The Youth League is a bit short-handed. Help them out by clearing out the fiends along Mushroom Road. Fiends will attack more often under the cover of fog. Proceed with caution. Objective, reach the lift leading to headquarters. All right, so the way this works... First off, is there anything here? Uh, no. Okay, so you see how it's getting all dark right now? Well, that's fog. When you walk around and it's foggy, you'll get in the tons of random encounters. Um, which might actually be a good thing, honestly. But if you want to minimize that, just wait till the fog clears to walk around. Now, you can still get in the random encounters, but just not as much. Alright, let's just uh, continue on up this way. I was thinking, you know what this music reminds me of? It reminds me of something from Tekken 3. 
That's exactly what it reminds me. It sounds like it came straight out of that game. There they are. There they are. Um. Okay, never mind. All right, we got uh, the bully calves, which we've seen before, and coyotes. I'm just going to. I'm going to feel my way through this. I'm going to see how, like, powerful these guys are. Um, you know, like, I'm trying to decide if I need to... If this warrants making Yuna a songstress so she can use uh, Darkness Dance. Seemed like we did just fine without it, so never mind. Alright, now, I could follow those guys. And I will for a little bit. But we will break... Um, pursuit in just a little bit. The reason we're going to break Pursuit is because down here... Okay, I wasn't paying attention. It was getting dark. It was getting, uh... Uh... It was getting all kinds of foggy, and I didn't even think about it. Uh, we got a bunch of these red elementals all stacked on top of each other, it looks like. Mm. Oh, never mind. It's just three of them. I would switch somebody to a black mage, but, like, these guys don't seem that difficult. I'm just going to wail on them. Oh, what happened there? Magic up. Oh, they're buffing each other. That's not good. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, we might need to heal up after this one. That's fine. Gold wings take the gold. I feel like Pain did not, was not part of that. Like she did not say anything. It was just Yuna and Riku. We wait for the fog to clear. That was my. That's on me. I wasn't paying attention to the fog. All right. Now in Final Fantasy X, we had to like come down here like on an airship, and it had to be its own separate location. But as because. Because Tidus was not very athletic for being a Blitzball player, but but Lu uh, Yuna can just jump down here, no no problem. Anyway, we can get a Turbo Ether. Is there anything over here? Um, oh, a lot of ways, a lot of forks in the road. Okay, nothing here. Oh, I think it's starting to get foggy. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow, that fog didn't last long at all. Whoa. And maybe it's just, maybe the fog is faster down here. The fog rate is faster down here. Alright. What the heck? That's confusing. Why would they do that? Anyway, what the? There was a chest that I somehow missed. Oh, I see it. And a phoenix down. I will take it. Why would they trip you out with those camera angles? That's not cool. And a high potion. Wait for the fog. Okay. Now I'm coming up on a safe. Doctor P is in the house. Stop that. That's funny. Okay, I'm leaving that in. All right, as I was saying, um, I'm coming up on a save point, which which makes me wonder why I'm getting ready to heal. I wonder. I don't know if I can board the airship in the middle of a mission. I would imagine not. Oh, I can. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to break the mission. I'll just wait for the fog. Come on. Alright, come on. Come on, I want to see what's in this cave. This one ain't no good. Nor this one. What are you what guys are you doing? doing? <gasps> Let's get out of here. We must inform the boss. 
Chickens, too scared to fight me. Hey, they dropped something. They dropped a lot of something. Oh no, yeah. Finders keepers. Well, we scored the key item, Crimson Sphere 9. There apparently is a whole side quest dedicated to this that takes a long time, and this is the beginning of it right now. You grab the Crimson Sphere 9. Oh, I should have looked to see what it was. And uh, you can touch that. Do I still have it in my inventory? I hope I do. I hope I didn't lose it. No, I still do. Uh, appears to be part of some kind of record. Well, I put it in that contraption and it lit something up, but that's all I can do with that for now. Okay, can I get out of here? Who are you, bro? Hey, long time no see. Remember me? Uh, your voice is familiar. I'm afraid not. No big deal. It's me, Moroda. Isaru and Pase's brother? Yeah, remember the summoner Usaru? How have you been? Isaru. I joined up with the Youth League, and that's been keeping me pretty busy. Oh, I'm a sphere hunter now. Ah, that sounds great. Trying out a new way of life. Actually, Pase's a sphere hunter now, too. Is he now? He's the leader of the Kindergardians. Be nice to him if you see him. <laughs> the Kindergardians. We heard of them. The hey. Youth League discovered this place, you know. It's called the Den of Woe. She asked you about Isaru. It was sealed around the time of Operation Meehan. Hey, bub. And Isaru? Ah, sounds like somebody doesn't want to talk about something. But, uh, the seal can supposedly be broken with the right combination of spheres. Um. Um. This is awkward. I'm afraid this place is off limits until we can conduct a more thorough investigation. So, I'll, um, have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry. Well, okay, dude. Um, good luck with whatever. This place is off limits. Please leave. Okay, okay, I heard you the first time. You ain't gotta shout at me, bro. So, yeah. So that's, uh, that's two people that we should recognize. All right, let, uh, uh, no, it, foggy, foggy. I could use the save point, actually, and just, uh, warp back to the airship. I kind of don't want to do that. I don't want to break the immersion. I probably wouldn't get penalized for it, but I feel like I would get penalized for just leaving the mission. All right, let's continue. Wait, which way do I go? Is there anything over here? No, that was a waste of time. All right, let me just... You know what? I'm just gonna meet you back to where we were. Alright, we're back where we jumped down and took our detour, so let's just use the circle button to climb up here. And continue going this way. Okay, this has been happening off camera, but I suppose I should go ahead and explain it, because if you're playing for the first time, this is gonna happen and you're not gonna know what it means. If you're ever fighting an enemy and all of a sudden it says that that enemy got oversold, what ends up happening is, after you kill a certain amount of enemies, like, uh, that type of enemy, you can run into it and it can get what's called an oversoul. Um, like, uh, in my case, uh, I had a bully cap, became oversold because I killed enough bully caps. Um, the idea is, is that as you've been killing bully caps, and it releases, you know, I'm just using bully caps as an example, uh, the pyreflies are released, and they don't necessarily go into the far plane, they just linger, and every time, you know, eventually when there's enough pyreflies, I'll run into a, a bully cap, and then he absorbs all of the pyreflies and gets what's called an oversoul. And it's not just bully caps, it's any enemy can do this. Every enemy type has a distinct uh, number of pyreflies that they must, or rather enough, a distinct number of, of previous of previous instances of that enemy that you must kill before they become oversold. And when an enemy becomes oversold, it just means, uh, they're, uh, they're more powerful, I think. Like, any stats that, uh, any status buffs that they had, like, all their HP, any damage you did to them, their HP would go back up. Any status buffs that they had would be cleared. That kind of thing. And they get... I think they get maybe stronger and faster. I don't know exactly what, but they just become nastier and meaner than they were. So if an enemy ever gets oversold, you want to probably kill him as quickly as you can. And this counts for even bosses. And if you're playing New Game Plus enough times, bosses can become oversold too. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, let's use this lift. 
I should probably heal up. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Let me actually go ahead and heal up. Um, because I don't remember what's gonna happen. Now, is that the end of the mission? Like, is that the end of the fog? I think oh, it is. Wow, Lady Yuna. It's me, Elma. It's been so long. Wow, you've really changed. And we should recognize Elma. How are you? Never better. Now that I'm in the Youth League, I've always got something to do. Hey, you made it past all the fiends. Nice work. As if. Go on, step aside. Right, right away, away, Captain. Captain. <sighs> wow, look at you. Yeah, she's giving orders now. <laughs> Not bad, huh? And looks like mission complete. Yeah, we remember Elma. She was she was Lucille's like first officer. Anyway, you scored the Heart of Flame Garment Grid. Awesome, I'll look at it in a second. Oh, oh, I can walk around now. I thought I thought thought we were in a cutscene. Okay, never mind. Alright, what do we got? What is the Heart of Flame uh, Garment Grid? Well, it looks a little bit like First Steps and uh, Thunder Spawn. Uh, when it's equipped, you get Fire Eater, and you can use Fire. And if you pass through the right combination of gates, you can get Fira and Firaga. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't really care too much. Now let me talk to this guy. Please proceed! Okay. Captain Elma is also the captain of Maven Nuge's Elite Guard. Well, it's actually closer to a fan club than an elite guard. Aw, uh, is, uh, is Elma fangirling over Maven Nuge? I thought she was better than that. You sure showed those beans nice work! Oh, that's all? Now, I know there's a chest over here, so make sure to grab it. And you scored the accessory favorite outfit. I forget what that does. That does something. It's something pretty interesting, if, if memory serves. Uh, guards against Itchy. Oh yes, Itchy. Um, might be something I want to consider. Itchy is a new status element that uh, if uh, one of your girls gets inflicted, infic bleh, inflicted with Itchy, they basically can't do anything. They can't basically they can't like attack or use magic or or, or do anything really. They can't input any commands because they're they're too busy scratching because they're Itchy. And you think, well, isn't that just, like, stop or sleep? Well, it's the way you, you get rid of it. The way you get rid of it is you change dress fears. Because if your clothes are itchy, you just change clothes, right? So, um, yeah, but I guess itchy would, would, or the favorite accessory would, or the favorite outfit or whatever would guard against that. All right, now, I know you have to talk to Lucille, or, sorry, Elma, several times. Uh... The Youth League headquarters is at the top of the lift. Commander Lucille is there, as good as ever. Or maybe it, maybe not. Maybe it's somebody else you have to talk to several times. I'm gonna talk to her several times. They're planning some big mission right now. It's a bunch of secret cloak and dagger type stuff. Have you met Maven Nuge yet? He's cool, smart, everything you could ask for. Yeah, because you're part of his fan club, aren't you? Lady Yuna, that new look is so you. Definitely a change for the better. Uh, the Youth League headquarters... Okay. Anyway, she mentioned Commander Lucille. We should remember Lucille. Um, not Lucille. I keep saying Lucille. 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 I want to say Lucille. Anyway, let's ride this lift up top. All right, where to now? Okay. Well, I guess I just yeah. I guess I just go this way. This is Youth League headquarters. The Youth League was formed a year ago by people who opposed New Yevon. Yeah. Its members claim that in the hands of New Yevon, Spira would only repeat its past mistakes. Mm. Their leader is a former crusader named Nuge. Apparently he earned quite a reputation. I'm not saying crusaders. they're wrong, but like... Like, I, I certainly understand their skepticism, but like, maybe let, let's just see what New Yevon does. Hey, kids. Take that! And that! Look out! I almost hit you! I'm trying to train! Out of my way! Okay. Well, you go, kid. I'm sure you'll be a great warrior someday. Let me just use that save point. Good, there's a save point right there, so when it's time for me to leave, I can just, uh... What do you say, bud? If I can swing my sword 500 times, I'll be just like the big guys! Oh, is that how it works? 
This sure is heavy. You aren't Lady Yuna, aren't you? Nah, that's impossible. Tja, if, as if I could possibly be Lady Yuna. I can tell from the map that there's something down here. I don't think I can get into battles here, so... I didn't want to do that. I did not want to do that. Get back there. I wanted to see what was down on this area here. Can I go down there? Oh, there we are. I was about to say. Ah, there's something down here. It's a chest that contains the Restless Sleep Garment Grid. I'm guessing... Oh, Restless... Oh, it's a Garment Grid. Okay. Well, good thing I got it. What does it do? Protects against sleep. Uh, oh, Grid imbued with the power of sleep and poison. Okay. So, normally you can use sleep and bio, and if you pass through the right gates, you can uh, get sleep proof, sleep touch, poison proof, and poison touch. Eh, okay. Actually would be useful... Simple simply for the fact that you know we can cast bio. I may consider that. I may consider putting that on one of the girls. It's interesting how like a lot of these garment grids have magical spells attached to them that you can just use. So you don't necessarily have to make uh dedicated black mages just to be able to use magic. But there you are. Uh the youth league has many enemies. We can't let our guard down. Yeah, but I'm the high summoner, so I get a uh, an exception. Right now, we're in the middle of planning our next operation. Outsiders like you shouldn't be loitering. I am not just an outsider, bub. I am Lady Yuna. Maven Nuge is busy making preparations for our fight against New Yevon. Okay. And let me talk to you. It is, how do you say, arm inspection? Inspect Machina delivered to Youth League. Okay. Phew, so many Machina weapons delivered for, for Youth League. Oh yeah? For something terrible, is is war with New Yevon? Wait, yes, war with New Yevon. What is this guy? Like, what is this guy's deal? I think he like just can't speak our language very well because he's like, I don't know if he's Albed or what. He must be Albed because he's like struggling with our words. Yeah, he's got to be Albed. I am the inspector's assistant. Well, nice to meet you. We traveled together throughout Spira, examining machines delivered by the factions. Oh, you travel together, do you now? Wink, wink. He has not yet mastered your tongue, but he is quite skilled at his job. Okay, that's what it is. He's he's Albed, and he uh, hasn't figured out our language real quick. It's odd. You notice that you know we have to get recollect Albed primers in this game. Like, okay, that's fine, but like, we literally have an Albed in our party. I don't know why Riku can't speak the language, like, translate. I mean, she can speak the language. I don't know why she can't translate for us. The Crusaders disbanded once the calm came, so I joined the Youth League. Well, good for you. Commander Lucille is Maven Nuge's right hand. She commands all of the League's troops. The Maven is something of a lone wolf. Running an organization like this isn't really up his alley. Well, what is up his alley? Okay, and then what do you say? Our officers are currently in conference within. Please do not disturb them. Okay. Maven Nuge is such a fearless warrior that he has been called Death Seeker. Oh, yeah? They keep calling him names that have to do with death. Coincidence? Hmm. Studying Spira's true past has opened my eyes to Yevon's crimes. Well, I should hope so. Um, I mean, their crimes were kind of front and center of everything, considering that they almost destroyed Spira. I don't know if they almost destroyed it. Uh, oh, sorry, th these two people I've already talked to. And I'm just going to make sure that there's nothing else here. I don't want to accidentally skip over a chest, you know, that I didn't know is here. It doesn't really look like there's anything here. All right, well, let's just walk up front and talk to, uh... That looks like Captain Lucille. It's been too long, Lady Yuna. Or Commander Lucille. I am Lucille, Commander of the Youth League Forces. It's good to see you. Yeah. Hiya! I am glad to find you well. As you can see, I have joined the Youth League to aid in the fight for a new Spira. I consider it my duty. Maven Nuge, our leader, has been hoping for an audience with my lady for some time. Unfortunately, he is planning a mission of great import and will be occupied well into the night. I am terribly sorry, but I must ask that you return another day. <laughs> he can't oh, even see me. It's no trouble. My apologies. The Youth League's looking for spheres too, right? Yes, knowledge of the past is the key to the future, so says the Maven. It is with these words in mind that we seek the spheres of yore. 
The mission we are planning also revolves around a sphere, but... But... I am sorry. I had best say no more. It is not a matter to be discussed openly. No, I suppose not. My apologies. I feel like Payne would... Like, Payne definitely gets that. Like, sh she would respect that. Like, yeah, we can't really talk about that, and Payne would be like, yeah, I, sure do seem to be I get it. There a lot of weirdos around here. The Youth League is a motley bunch. Some members certainly have a questionable past. Tactfully put, Riku. But Just the other day, a very valuable sphere was stolen almost as soon as we discovered it. The Thief League? <laughs> no. No, few here would go that far. Most of us are very devoted. We work hard with Maven Nuge towards our goal of building a new Spira. But the Maven insists that none be turned away, and so the occasional bad seed does slip through. Unfortunately. But I can think of nothing more heartening than were the Lady Yuna to join our cause. That would do the League much good. Honestly, for you, Elma and Clasco, I might do it. And make sure you talk to her that second time, because that's a cutscene so that- I'm sorry. No problem. Because that's a cutscene and that counts towards your percentage. Whoa. What is up with my controller? She was just like hugging the right. I'm very sorry. Okay, that's it. So yeah, make sure you do that because that counts towards your percentage. Oh my goodness. Look at that man right there. Is that is that my main man Machin? That looks like my main man Machin. Let's talk to him. You remember Machin from the previous game? And I freaking loved that dude. Why, Lady Yuna, I believe it's been fully two years. This calls for a celebration. Yes, it's my main Perhaps man, Machin. you'd like to hear a story. Dude. Dude, if you were not in this game and not here to tell me stories, then I would riot. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right now. Um, before I say anything... In this game, if you're trying to get 100%, you must never cut Machen off. You must never skip through his dialogue. You must always be willing to hear him out. And this game is going to try to make you not listen to him. When I uh, see right away, the very first option is anything but that. I'm going to obviously choose by all means. Because A, I want the 100% completion. And B, it's freaking Machen. I could listen to his voice all year. But, while he's talking, the game is going to be throwing us prompts to uh, basically skip his dialogue. Be like, alright, alright, you've talked enough. If you're trying to get 100% completion, just put your controller down. And just, when the prompts come up, just don't even do anything. Just let the man talk. Let him tell his stories. Besides, it's freaking Machen. We want to hear it. So yeah, let's say, by all means. These past two years have been truly tumultuous. With sin defeated and the heavens' terrible deception exposed for all to see, it is safe to say Spira was in a state of upheaval. But it is precisely times such as these that often inspire the greatest good. I love how the camera slowly see, zooming out. Out of the chaos arose a desire to forge Spira anew. And from this noble desire was born a search for truth, championed by people called the Seekers. The Seekers sought out and attempted to set right Spira's history, long concealed and warped by the temples. They looked for lessons in that history, lessons to lead Spira into a new age. No. <sighs> The Seekers scoured Spira for ancient spheres hidden in nooks and crannies over the ages. They studied the images recorded in those spheres, for they hoped to find within clues to the true nature of Spira's past. Over time, the search for spheres grew quite popular. Some even pursued it as a profession. They, of course, are the Sphere Hunters. The good, the bad, and the ugly. To be sure, the majority are interested only in the excitement and adventure of it all. But it is doubtful they comprehend the gravity of their search for truth. Very doubtful. Um, doubtful? Doubtful indeed. <laughs> 
where was I? The founder of the Seekers was a man by the name of Tremor. Before the fall of Sin, Tremor had been a priest in the orders of the Yevon. With the Seekers, he had the perfect means of revitalizing Spira, or so one would have thought. But then, just one short year ago, Tremor founded yet another organization, the New Yevon Party. It was all quite sudden. He took the many spheres collected by the Seekers and hoarded them all to himself. Jerk. Naturally, this angered those who had hoped to use the spheres as a key to unlock Spira's past. What awoke in Tremor's heart that drove him to do this, none can say, save Tremor himself. I should very much like to ask him. But sadly, he has vanished. New Yevon would not release its spheres, yet surprisingly, a great number of people rallied to its cause. Their motto was, one thing at a time. It worked to great effect. It played on people's fears of the rapid changes sweeping over Spira. It gave them something to cling to. But there were others who still harbored ill will toward the name of Yevon. And the man who united them? It was none other than Nuge, the maven, that is, leader of the Youth League. Nuge was a member of the Crusaders. He is a powerful man, once renowned for his fearlessness in battle. His interest in history led him to devote himself to the Seeker's cause. With them, he worked to collect spheres, but in the end, New Yevon would share them with no one. Repulsed by what New Yevon had done, Nuge gathered like-minded people and formed the Youth League. Drawing its support, mainly from Spira's younger generation, the League soon matched New Yevon in size. As the organization grew, so did the responsibilities of its leader. I came here hoping to speak with Maven Nuge, but he is busy in meetings and I was turned away at the door. Yeah, they wouldn't let me in either. Mm. Pity. Looking at all the young people gathered here to take part in the League's endeavors, I must say... I'm quite envious. So much energy, so much time. While I, on the other hand, have grown weary with the passing of many years. I travel Spira, gathering knowledge, only to have it slip my mind a moment later. Just between you and me, I don't even remember how old I am. Hundred bucks says he's oh, like a thousand one years old. More favor. Anything, dude. What is it? I'd like to shake your hand. If it's not too much trouble. Trouble! To touch just once the hand that defeated sin and saved all spirit. If you were anybody else, I would say that is creepy considering how old you are and how young Yuna is. But you're freaking Machen. I would pay to have you shake my hand. Of course. Oh, thank you. Now this old scholar can go in peace. It, go in peace, not rest in peace. That? Your hand. Uh, okay, is that is wrong? getting a little creepy. No, no, it is nothing. Lady Yuna, you have my thanks. Ah, oh, freaking love that guy. You say anything else? Perhaps you'd like to hear a story. Uh, 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 yeah. These past two years have been true. Do I really have to sit through the whole thing again? With sin defeated and Yevon's terrible. I shouldn't have done that. I didn't realize he was gonna go through the whole dialogue again. I'm not gonna make you sit through it. I'll I'll cut to where I'm not gonna skip through it because I don't want to mess up my percentage. I don't know if it will mess up my percentage, but yeah, I'm just gonna cut to the end of it. Alright, bud. I love you, dude, but I'm not gonna talk to you anymore because, yeah, there's a long cutscene that I had to sit through. Like I said, I don't know if you have to sit through it the second time around. Like, like, you know, I mean, obviously don't talk to him a second time, but like, I don't know 
if skipping at that time would penalize you. Anyway, we got what we came here for. We got some stuff. We completed the mission. Let's get out of here. Board airship. Now, hold on. Hold on. You're not done yet. We're going to go back to Mushroom Rock, and we're just going to do something real quick. But first, let me talk to the girls. I bet the Youth League's mission of great import is this fear hunt. Probably. Leading the Youth League is like trying to harness a pack of wolves. Yeah, but I, I gotta say, I actually, um, I definitely sympathize with them a lot more. I can understand why people don't trust, uh, New Yevon. That was dirty what they did about with the spheres. Hey, I wonder if this, uh, I wonder if this, uh, Crimson Number 9 is in my, uh, yeah, I believe it's this one. I believe it's this. Uh, the date and details of this recording are unknown. Can we play this sphere? Yes. Wait a minute. Hmm. Let's see. Total survivors of the final Crimson Squad selection. Exercise zero. Zilch and Zipball. Job done. Uh, you pinhead. Did you even count? All right, so clearly Logos and Ormi had something to do with that. We don't know what much about that. I guess we'll learn about that later. All right, let's do something real quick. Let's head back to Mushroom Rock. We're almost done with the video, guys. There's just something we need to do. Um, ah, see, now I've gained a few levels. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and choose Mushroom Rock Road. We need to do something. Once you have gone through Mushroom Rock, um, you want to come back here. You will see Clasco standing here, looking very anxious. Let's talk to him. That's it. Every time I try something new, I screw it up. I just don't know what I want to do with my life. Yeah, you really don't. I don't know where I belong. I've spent my whole life drifting from one failure to the next. Pretty much. But I can't keep doing this forever. Oh, you'll figure it out I one day, kid. I know there's a place for everyone in this world. Even someone as sad and pathetic as me. Possibly. Lady Yuna. What? I want to find my place. Please, allow me to ride on your airship. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry, loser. No. Fine, you can ride, but that's it. The more the merrier. No. Oh, oh, well, hang on. Thank you so much. I'll find my true calling. You'll see. Yeah, you d Um, In all real seriousness, you absolutely want to have him uh, pop on the airship. Because supposedly he's very pivotal to things, and uh, you you definitely want to recruit him. And interesting thing is, okay, first off, do my girls say anything new about that? No, just that. Well, interestingly enough, once you've brought him on board, you can go into the cabin. There's our bar slash cabin. If we go up here to the top where the beds are, there's the kid now. And he still doesn't look happy. Oh, 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 why won't the room stop shaking? Oh, he's air, oh. he's air sick. Poor guy. Anything else? Oh. Nope. Yeah, that's nice. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, you can jump down here if you want and get a different camera angle. That's kind of neat. All right, well, that's all we're going to do in this video. That was a good video. In the next video, we'll do some more stuff. I don't know. We're, we still got a lot of optional stuff to do. We're not ready to go to Bisay just yet. And I am, I am going to save this time. I cannot believe I forgot last time, but there you go. Um, and I, I was in the process of saving, and I just didn't. So then I, I looked at my files this morning, because I'm recording this at night. I was going to record this morning, and I saw my files, and I was like... I looked at the dates on those files, and I was like, Oh, I forgot to save, didn't I? And that was a bad episode to forget to save on. But it happens, and I did it, and I do it quite often. You guys know this about 480. Wouldn't be a 480 Let's Play if we didn't have an obligatory oops moment. And I'm hoping and praying that that's the only one, but I'm sure there'll be more. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. My name is 480 Volts. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you guys next time. Pieces!